From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. Look at the sky over any modern city. Chances are you'll see line-shaped clouds mixed with the normal cloud cover. These are called contrails. When jets fly through the air, they leave trails of water vapor in their wake. This vapor dissipates a few minutes after the jet passes. The government claims these clouds are a harmless result of engine exhaust. I'm no meteorologist. When I hear about the weather, I take the experts at their word. However, some sources reject this explanation. These researchers believe there's another type of man-made cloud, a chemtrail. While contrails are an effect of water and air temperature, chemtrails are allegedly different. What if those lines aren't just water? What could they be? Why are they here? Many chemtrail theorists, or chemis, think the trails are a type of weather manipulation. We know weather changing technology exists. By using dry ice or silver iodide, scientists can increase rainfall. It's imperfect, but it's real. Chemtrails could be another more precise technique. This could explain why chemtrails don't dissipate. They could be made to attract moisture. But not all chemtrails attract cloud cover. Some just linger like strokes of paint across the sky. Because not all chemtrails attract moisture, many chemists think those strange striped-shaped clouds have a different purpose. Why control the weather if you can control the people? Here's where it gets crazy. Some researchers believe chemtrails are a kind of mind control. According to this theory, the chemicals spread through chemtrails wear down the immune system and force the victim's mind to function at a lower level. With a less alert population, no one will notice the changes in local, national, and global governments. They allege that higher amounts of bacteria, barium, and aluminum are found near chemtrails. But this theory has obstacles. It's tough to control the dosage. Spraying chemicals only affects people who happen to be outdoors. What happens to the rest? There's also no way to aim. It doesn't sound effective. But some believe chemtrails aren't made for mind control or weather manipulation. Instead, they're weapons. Sure, this sounds ridiculous. We're comparing clouds to tanks and missiles. But the U.S. does conduct atmospheric research and has extensive experimental facilities. Consider HARP in Alaska. HARP conducts experiments in Earth's ionosphere, 35 miles from the planet's surface. We already have the ability to manipulate the weather. Some theorists think our government can also create earthquakes and manipulate electromagnetic fields. Chemtrails might only be side effects of these secret weapons. The electromagnetic waves used by these weapon systems might distort and discolor clouds. When you see a chemtrail or odd clouds, you might be seeing the effects of an invisible global weapon. Could this be possible? The next time you find yourself outdoors on a sunny day, look at the clouds. Do they seem normal? Are these trails in the sky the normal streaks of jets and the normal movement of clouds and wind? Or is there something else up there? Something they don't want you to know.